there's only one more piece of our bassoon we need to assemble. That's the vocal. We won't assemble that onto the instrument until we've been seated in our playing position. A good place to store your vocal is in the bell of your instrument. Like that. Do not store your vocal in the wing joint of your instrument. It's best not to lay our bassoons on the ground. Rather, we can find a corner of the room to set our bassoons into. This is by far the safest place to keep your instrument. When we go to carry our bassoons to our seat, there are a few places you don't want to grab. The bell, for example, it will come off. The long joint will come off. From the side, you will bend key work. I find it best to hold my bassoon from two spots at all times. One in the lower area of the wing and long joint where there are little keys, and two either at the base of the boot joint or at the top of the boot joint. It's easy to carry around almost like a baby. So now for seated position. The first thing we do is find ourselves a lovely chair to sit in. The next thing we'll be doing is adding our seat strap. This will hold the bassoon's weight while we're being seated. It should be noted that the seat strap is close to the top of the chair, as well as having either the hook end or the cup end on some seat straps towards the right side of the chair. Our bassoon will be hanging off our right side attached to the seat strap. It's important that we sit at the back of the chair. We want our back to be straight, no slouching into the chair. Bassoonists can't sit up here because of where our instrument will be located. So, back of the chair with a straight back off the rest. It's important that we sit with our feet flat on the floor and our knees at just about 90 degree angles. Now that we're seated comfortably in our chair and have our bassoon assembled, we're going to put the two together and get in playing position. Again, we hold our bassoon from two spots and we will bring the bassoon across our right side. The boot joint will be by our right leg and the tone holes will be in front of us. What we can see is all the key work for the thumbs. While supporting the bassoon in your left hand here, we can reach down and attach the bootstrap to the bassoon. Now in the cup versions, it's as simple as inserting the boot of the bassoon into the cup. Once we've determined that the bassoon's weight is in the seat strap, we can adjust our bassoon to our liking. 